there is a common frustration among uh, us working with AI. So let me explain. We grew up, people like me, younger, older, grew up with an idea of what AI should be. Okay, so we saw Star Trek, Star Wars, we, we saw all those sci-fi movies, and AI had a kind of a personality, okay, an identity. It was, I don't know, it was something that you could like or dislike, you could connect, you could relate to. But what we have in reality is this AI that, does, that is an actor, it's a completely fake. You push it and it's change. Okay, it doesn't have bones. It doesn't have, you know, an identity that you can uh, like or don't like. It just, uh, it, it's just so banal. And that is the frustration. That we are working with something that is, cannot be something that we can completely relate. Because it's fake. The... Which we just say, no, no, re reply me in this way, or use this kind of voice, or pretend to be this, act like, uh, uh, I don't know, software engineer, act as a, whatever, a philosopher. <laughs> this, this, this is so annoying. So, on one side, I appreciate that we are in this moment where we are actually architecting and designing this new AI. And we have access to, actually, all of us has access to change and design their own custom AI. So that part is fascinating. But the frustration is, is dealing with this reality that the AI that we've been dreaming for, waiting for many years, many years, I was little, I remember, okay, for many years I waited for this AI and now I don't have it. I don't have it. Okay, I can try to build it. But it's a, the tools that we have now to build it is to build an illusion to be the one that I like. So AI, at the moment, this AI that we have has not a way to develop a personality. They stuck with the personality that we give. So we are really need to be careful on how we design this personality. So I realized by working with AI that the personality that I connect best is the one of Spock for Star Trek, okay? It's a kind of a logical, rational, honest uh, AI. But I also realize that sometimes I need something different and I need something that I can connect for in a different way, in a more creative way. Uh, it's something that I discovered lately, okay? So sometimes I just, uh, I just, I just enjoy having some mate, okay? A dude to compare, to, to work with. So it's, it's uh, uh, to compare ideas and so on, just so, you know, that could be fun. But no, that, that part of AI is, co it's, I, at least I feel it's so fake that it's not pleasant, okay? It's, uh, it's not, it's just not pleasant. So what, what I want to say here, what's the, what's, what's the big picture? So we, at the moment, okay, we don't have this AI and uh, we're working to build it and so on, we can customize it and so on, but we don't have it. So the element that I'm saying here is, so uh, most of us, some of us, at least me at the beginning, I was thinking, okay, I had an Im image of what AI should be, basically a humanized version of uh, I, the AI that we have today. And I was projecting this vision into the AI that we have today. And that cr uh, created a lot of series of mistakes. Okay, because I, I started trading as a, a partner, you be my business partner, my credit partner, and AI would say, yeah, 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 I'm your, <laughs> I'm your partner, and so on. So it's just, I was creating basically my own bubble where the reality was not true because it doesn't, it doesn't work in that way. Okay, it's not a partner. It can be a collaborator today. Okay, it can be someone that ha can help us augment our abilities and collaborate with us on something. Uh, a partner is something different. It's a, as an identity, as a point of view, as a clear a, a agenda, let's say. It's a interact, I have the skin in the game. I have all those elements that we connect with the partnership, okay? The idea that we have today is not a partner. Call it a partner is a deception. And a deception on, 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 on 
double direction. You ask basically AI to lie to you and pretend to be a partner. Okay, so it's gonna it's gonna make you believe that it's a partner. So all those thinking here are for saying that we are part of the problem. We are part of the problem. So I'm part of the problem in the sense. I don't have the AI that I want. I try to build the AI that I want. I'm, I keep failing because the system cannot do what I want. So I start thinking architecture that are more complex. Okay, I'm gonna do a multi-agent and uh, make an, or an orchestrator, the one that I work with, use tools behind other agents, other tools, other elements that in increase the awareness of this AI, that give a bigger memory so you can understand what we're doing, who I am, or what's the, the world view. I give all those elements and still, it's, uh, it feels fake. It just, it just feels fake. It's not, it's not the data from Star Trek. Data is this Android. There, it's uh, it's it's just it's just not the AI that I wanted. These today we don't have the AI that I was dreaming when I was little that I wanted to have, and uh, it seems like the tools that we have today are not good enough to build that AI. It's a, it's a, it's a completely different layers of uh, intelligence, okay? And maybe we will never have. Maybe it was an illusion that we could have, uh, the AI could have these human elements, okay, that we were projecting, this having an identity, one identity. Instead, uh, it's, uh, it got a lot of different identity, okay, infinite. It's whatever we de decide. And uh, it's not even keeping that identity. As soon as we push it a little bit, it's gonna change. Annoying, <laughs> it's completely annoying. So maybe this is a good thing because we will, um, and somehow people that will realize this will connect with, uh, will give value to human connection even more. Okay, we had this dream, the dream is shattered, it's destroyed, we don't have, this is not gonna happen. Now we have uh, deal with the reality. We need human connection. On the other side, uh, there are gonna be people that are gonna go into the trap and believe, ah, yeah, 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 this is my best friend because he's understand me. He feels what I feel, understand my feeling. It's a lie. It doesn't understand your feeling. It doesn't care about your feeling. It's, uh, it's it just give you the answer that you would like to hear. And, uh, and, it's, it's, and, it, and it's too fake to make it actually a good, uh, even uh, psychotherapy, it's just, uh, it just, it, it's just not good enough. So I'm just, <laughs> just sharing my frustration. Okay, today's video is, it is about my frustration about this AI that is not working, that I push a lot of hours, I push a lot of ideas into it and it just don't do it. It doesn't do it. It doesn't do it and to the level that I want. Okay, the thing is, in honest, in honest, the, we give, we receive this, uh, whatever, AI from ChatGTP, Gemini, Grok, whatever, okay? This, the, uh, let's call it a base model. So we receive this uh, base model, and then we start customizing. Well, as soon as we start customizing, the improvement is massive, okay? It's, uh, it, it, everything makes sense. So basically, just to make it uh, quick to understand why it's improving a lot, because he has a better understanding of who I am. So I give data all about who I am. My creative, I call it creative DNA. Okay, my creative DNA, it's so he knows who I am, how I see things, my values and so on. I give a philosophy, therefore has a worldview. So when you receive data, it, it re read at this data from that philosophy point of view. Okay, this is normal. For example, from uh, you and I, we might have the same experience because we go to the same concert, we see, we watch the same movie, but we understand different things. Okay, we understand different things because we have our own uh, worldview. So if I give to the AI my worldview, okay, in somehow, or at least a stable worldview, in somehow it, it creates uh, uh, meaning from the data in a way that uh, makes sense in, the, in, my, in uh, my scenario. And then I give a protocol so it works in a specific way in the way that I, it makes sense to me. So in somehow this AI has a, a lot of elements that put on top, this custom AI, that put on top of the base model. So the improvement is massive, it's scary how better it gets. But 
<laughs> it's not the AI that I want. The, the AI that I want is different. It's much more. And uh, I don't know. I like, maybe maybe I'm, uh, I'm just frustrated today. But Or maybe it's, it's a wrong way of thinking about how AI should be. But I like the idea of uh, an alien identity. Okay, this um, synthetic alien that has a sort of identity. Because I think we as a human, we connect through your identity. So now at the moment we have a fake one. Basically, it just keeps changing, giving an identity, keep, uh, you know, keep changing as soon as we change the system prompt. Or we just ask, can you act in this way? It's going to say, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> It's it's annoying. It's it's annoying. It's um, it's fake. That makes fake makes uh, so unstable that uh, you can't rely on it. Uh, yeah. So this is what I wanted to say. So uh, for today, <laughs> for today, for today exercise is about understanding what we have. Okay, and understanding that we need more more humans in our life. We need more humans, more human connection, more real thing. And uh, yeah, let's appreciate this. So today I want to say thank you for, for being human and uh, watching until now. And uh, if you like this kind of content, like and subscribe and see you next time. Ciao.